Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movies 87 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Since last time, I figured out where I need to go, and that's not that way. Um, that way over there will lead to actual progress and such, but before going over there, I do need to backtrack some to pick up a very worthwhile item. Also, I kind of really need to pick this up, so let's go and do that first, shall we? And to get such said item, I need to go over this way. I went over here a little bit last episode, if you recall, but, um, well, I stopped where I did because I wasn't fully sure where to go. But now I do know. So, for that, gotta go up over here and make your way this way. And from here on out, actually, after this little side path diversion thing, this area is pretty straightforward, so that's nice for me. Um, anyway, we have a slight puzzle here of sorts. We have four tiles, and, oh, I wonder where the door could be. Well, for that, I'll just tell you right now, step on a tile here. And yeah, you see there are four of them. And yeah, pretty much what it breaks down to is putting each of these statues on each of these uh, tiles here. Uh, there's four statues for four pillars, but you don't need to do all four of them. Just uh, three plus will will be good enough for you. So go ahead and do that. Pretty easy. Just uh, bring them towards you, and then onto the uh, tile, and you're good to go. Now, these guys uh, do count on your enemy radar as well, so I will kill them off as well once I open the door. Like that. But yeah, you get too close to them, and they'll come alive. So more or less, these guys are, these guys are uh, temple guards from Legend of the Hidden Temple. Great show, by the way. Great show. One of my favorites of all time in the 90s. I remember back in my last couple of years of high school, what would have been, well, actually, even my sophomore, junior, and senior year, uh, we had digital cable, and we had um, those old niche channels, like Nick 2 and Nick uh, Gas, or whatever, the uh, Game and Sports channel. And they would show Legend of the Hidden Temple um, early in the morning before school, so we would watch that all the time, like every weekday before school. Greatest show, like, ever, pretty much. One of my all-time favorites. And apparently now there's a movie for it, too, coming out on Nickelodeon. Like, a live-action movie with Kirk Fogg. Um, I am all of the hype for that. I cannot wait until that comes out. Not sure when it's due to release, but um, hopefully later this year or maybe early next year. Somewhere in that ballpark, but anyway. Yeah, those guys are pretty easy. You want to stay out of their line of fire, to make a pun there, because they literally shoot a line of fire at you. But uh, by and large, yeah, they're pretty slow and not that hard to deal with. A lot of HP, though, so it takes Will a little while to kill them. But uh, not a big deal, regardless. Now, anyway, you may have seen up there, there's a uh, dart space in the uh, top part of this room, which is where I want to go now. Take care, well, take care to not fall underneath these uh, traps here, because they will hurt you a lot, unfortunately. Take care of that. Oh, should have blocked that a little sooner, but uh, oh well. And yeah, yeah, dart space. Um, yeah, I should probably heal while I'm over here. And save as well. And turn into Freedon. And I believe you actually... I think you have to turn into him here, hence why the statue is here for you. Although I don't recall for sure, like 100%, but I always do anyway, just because he's a lot better than Will. Let's see, let's block that. There we go. Oh yeah, um, two more guys left. Nice. Oh, I'm not sure, actually. I want to show something here real quick. Um, the force thing up there in the top left. I have no idea what that means. Like, I've, I've never known that in my entire years of, in all my years of playing this game. So, if you guys know, let me know. Like, if I had to guess, it'd be like, it kind of like dims when you're lower on HP or something? Like, I, I don't know. I'm guessing here, honestly. But anyway, nice little shortcut there for me to return back later on. But also, while I'm here... Ooh, the wind in the, in the valley plays a melody, because of course it does. Hey, we learned the melody of the wind. Awesome. Oh yeah, if you happen to hear any random, um, like, rustling or just general noise there, my nose was quite itchy there, so I took the time with the cutscene to, uh, take care of that, so I do apologize that that picked up. It probably did, I mean, it was right on the mouthpiece, so... But oh well. 
I figure you're better doing it there when there's nothing really going on, like, gameplay-wise. Like, I, I have a second to just, you know, take care of that. But anyway, now that we have that, uh, we can go back down over this way. Because, yeah, you'll need that for what's coming up uh, later on. So let's see. You need to go back down to the southwest part of this room now. And then we should be in good shape. I wouldn't mind picking up one more extra life along the way, but that should be definitely doable. There's still a good few enemies around here left. Okay, so yeah, from here we have more of these guys. But uh, unfortunately, I have no pendants of life for you to take, so do I just lose outright? I hope not. That would suck. Though I've always wanted to go into the temple, like, just for fun or whatever, just to, like, play around and whatever. That'd be so much fun to do that. I'd solve all the puzzles and... Do, like, all the rope climbing and all that stuff like that. That would have been the best. Oh, by the way, a new jewel there, actually. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, it is new. Um, sometimes enemies will drop the, uh, that HP restoring jewel right there. It gives you 5 HP back. So there you go. Pretty nice there. Um, nothing else over here, I don't think. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, so I want to go back over here if I can and kill this guy. Because he reveals a bridge. Have I ever told you the story about a bridge? Or whatever that, um, that guy in Family Guy says. What was it? Um, uh, Buzz Killington, I believe his name was. He goes, who enjoys a good story about a bridge? Like, n not me entirely. I mean, they're cool and all that. Sure, don't get me wrong. But I don't feel like listening to a story solely based on a bridge or about a bridge. Like, no thanks, I'll pass. Speaking of bridges, the card game bridge. How does that work? I've never played bridge before. I'm just curious. Anyway, more green snot over there. Let's take care of that nice and quick. Um, oh, I want to go up over here. Wait, I forget where I want to go next. Um, there should be a dead end, I believe. Okay, there we go. Just wanted to make sure. Let's go over here now and take care of this guy. Guarding more treasure. Uh, let's see, could it be some gold by chance? Or an herb? Okay, that's fine too. I would have liked, you know, some of that ancient gold I've been hearing so much about. But, nah, oh well. Let's take care of this guy here real quick. Reminds me of the um, the vultures from um, uh, A Link to the Past, actually. Not so much the enemy itself, but, you know, um, their movement and such. How they fly around in a circle around you. Yeah, they're a little annoying, to say the least. These guys, not so much, but the vultures especially, because... Well, they're a lot quicker, really. Takes care of that guy. Oh, got my uh, two lives now. Awesome. And I believe, actually, zero counts as a life as well. So I technically have three lives, I think. So uh, the more the better for me, seriously. I have no idea what Pompey's doing right now. He's in the kitchen doing Pompey things. Oh, that's right. These guys don't come to life immediately. What you need to do is hit that. These guys are pretty easy. They'll line up single file for it. Just wail on them. There you go. Oh, my throat's itchy. Uh, bad time for my throat to itch. Oh, hey, cool. That's a nice, fun little still shot there of, uh, Freedom being, like, great out there. But anyway, um, done with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah, now we're outside again. I have to wonder, too, how is the temperature in this game? Like, for the, for the area I'm at, I'm at right now. I just happened to thought of, think of that just now. I mean, it's windy, for one thing they mentioned, so I gotta figure it's probably a little chilly, actually. Um, trying to think also if someone mentioned about the um, the wind, if it was chilly or not, back in Eidery Village. Just a random thought, that's all. Um, anyway, um, this guy over here, I believe, will also reveal a ladder. There we go. Um, that one's a, a more of a shortcut as well, so don't worry about that. Anyway, from here, uh, let's uh, keep on going, shall we? Uh, oh, more of these guys. Takes care of that, that, and that. Nice and easy. Alrighty, um, let's see. Anything up over there? Okay, I see more, uh, temple guards. I'll just call them temple guards. I'm not sure what their actual name is, but I mean... We're in a ruin, they're guarding stuff. I mean, it's also kind of a temple as well. So, I mean, it kind of fits, right? So, I'll just roll with it. Like, if they, if they had an actual real name, they'd probably be, like... Ancient guards or something or other like that. I, I don't fully know, but whatever. Not not a big deal. Nothing over there. Let's go over this way, shall we? And four on one. 
Never knew you were into orgies, Frieden. Uh, I mean, uh, never mind. But anyway, yeah, just watch out for their line of fire. Pretty easy to avoid. I mean, it's a straight line attack, so. But doing forward ones can be a little iffy there. But uh, nothing I can't handle. Alright, from here. Um, there we go. More of these guys over here first. Pretty easy. Nice and quick. I love it. Pompey, what are you doing? You curious little puppy. Who, me? Yeah, you, you little pupper. Ah, excuse me. <coughs> oh, God. Sorry about that. Let's see, take care of that guy. Oh, hey, more HP restoring. Nice. Definitely need more of that. Another one. Holy crap. I thought those things were supposed to be fairly rare. Then I picked up three in, like, one episode. I'll take that. One more? Or some more HP as a whole. I'll take that as well. Perfect. Um, let me see now. Um, okay, that's where I want to go next, actually. Um, but before that, I need to go up over this way. Uh, because I'll need to be, um... I think I'll need to be Will coming up, I'm pretty sure. I actually don't recall. Um, but oh well, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out later as I go along. Don't worry about that. And more sludge around here. Um, dart space, I'll take care of that, um, later on. Oh, hey, more dead people. Note about the Incas. Oh, then I heard about that before. Didn't, uh, Lily say that before? Oh, hey, so did I. High five, bro. Oh. Um, sorry. Chant in the Golden Room. Does that mean to play the Melody of the Wind? Huh. You don't say. Watch it. Oh, no, I, now I remember. I'll show you guys in the room upcoming what you're supposed to do. Um, and then another way to actually kind of sneakily go around that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, more strength there. And a red jewel. Nice. Let's go ahead and send that off to uh, Gem the Jeweler. There we go. And now, yeah, I want to transform into Will. Although, technically, in my in my own case here, I don't need to. But um, I still will anyway. Nah, <laughs> I get it. I'm, I'm terrible. Anyway, let's do a transform into Will. Now, I find it kind of odd, actually, with the transformation here. It takes longer for Frieden to turn back into Will than it does for Will to turn into Frieden himself. I just find that a little odd, is all. Like, you think it'd be the opposite, right? Like, it would take Will longer to turn into Frieden than Will and Frieden reverting back into Will. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Ah, oh, damn tickle in my throat. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, so here's what you're supposed to do. Um, let's go ahead and bust out the melody of the wind over here. Now, yeah, one of these tiles over here is one you're supposed to step on, right? Now, if you know what it is prior to coming to this room, I'm not sure how you would know that, unless you've played the game before, um, but if you just step on that just, just uh, offhand, then the door to the south will open for you. But normally, yeah, you play the Melody of the Wind, and then... There he goes, it shows you which one you're supposed to do over there. So, just gotta stand on here for, like, a couple seconds over there. And... There we go, I was, I was about to say, and... There we go. Okay, anyway, what I want to do first is definitely turn back into Frieden. Your life will be a lot easier for doing so. Go and do that. My nose is really bugging me right now. Don't worry, I'm not getting sick or whatever. It's just annoying right now. I hate my nose sometimes. <sighs> anyway. Okay, I also want to go ahead and save while I'm here, too. Oh, ooh, a huge enemy. That sounds fun. When he suffers damage, rays of light will shoot from his head. If you suffer damage, hide behind him. Okay, well, sounds easy enough there. I'll keep that in mind. But uh, before fighting said huge enemy, what I want to do, and what you have to do as well, is uh, place the uh, ancient statues we, statues we picked up before. So down over here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and equip A first. There we go. And then hop over here. Well, I just technically run, but whatever. Um, then, if I can open my menu, there we go. And place B right over here. And 
more freaky ass wind. Oh, I wonder where I'm supposed to stand. <laughs> Let me think. We and what have we inside? I'll be quiet and let's find out. It's a giant motherfucking demon, y'all! I believe this guy's name is, like, Azeroth or something? I don't recall for sure. But anyway, go for his hands over there first. You see the jewel on his head when that lights up. Like it's doing... Like it's doing... Today. Today, please, Mr. Demon, sir. There we go. Still will him for a bit. Okay, and now we start doing this. You want to avoid that, like, immediately. There we go. Should only take me two rotations of doing this here. So go for his hands over there first. They're pretty easy. Only a few hits for them. Go for that left one and then the right one over there. I have herbs if I need to heal. So I'll, I'll keep them handy just in case. And you know, just shoot all, all forms of like fire and shit at you. So just avoid that. Stand there like a warrior and... There we go! Got him! Pretty easy. Yeah, that's our first major boss fight of the game over there. Oh, hey, bouncing fire crystal thing, can you go away? Thank you. <coughs> Jeez, my damn throat. It's not even really sore or anything, just that annoying tickle. And it just that slight itch, and I have to cough to try to get rid of it. I'll get some water or whatever after I'm done recording, so pay it no mind. But anyway, what does this lead? I wonder. <gasps> Could it be? The ancient gold ship at last! <gasps> oh, snap. There's someone there. Who could possibly be here on the ship with Will anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. This has been Mr. Movie Seven signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.